my notes, my little notebook to help you get through that week because wow, probably one of the most intense weeks of my life but in like an extremely good way. Um, <laughs> there's definitely, um, in my opinion, do's and don'ts. Okay, not even don'ts. There's actually no don'ts. You generally do just have to go and jump in and just go with the flow kind of attitude. Okay, let's just like jump into this because otherwise I'll be sat and like chatting about it. Freshers week. It doesn't matter if you're moving in on the Saturday or the Sunday. If you missed your slot to move in on the Saturday and you're moving in on the Sunday, hence what happened to me, because I did it so late, it's fine. Nobody actually notices if you come on Sunday compared to Saturday. It's not really a thing. Like, you don't miss out. You need to take with you a doorstop. This should not be taken lightly. A doorstop is probably the most essential thing I could tell you to take with you, because what you need to do when you move in, you need to, <laughs> you need to do this. You need to keep your door wedged open, especially because most people are too, not shy, but it's definitely a, a, a block having a door in your way and then like knocking on someone's door. Like is, you will be more approached if you have your door wedged open, people who just walk by will just like pop their head, say hi and stuff. And that's how you literally meet your first people. That's how I met my first ever person, Megan, my like roommate. She was literally walking past to literally go out with other people. And my door was like popped open. I was unpacking my makeup and then she was, she was like, ah, oh, like, hi, roommate. Bunch of us are going out, come out. Secondly, when you meet someone, you need to get the contacts pretty much like straight away. This might sound like too intense but especially if you vibe with that person and especially if they're in your flat then get the number instagram whatever like social that you use because then as soon as you are then like not together you can message and be like oh hey like this is happening or like you can basically join up with them so you're not just sat spending your first day just by yourself you do go your separate ways a bit because you go and unpack your room and stuff but then you can just message people and figure out what they're doing meet up again you also need to go and knock on people's doors. Like just to, okay, my advice, this is just my way of going about things as well, is to just meet as many people as you can. Everyone in Freshers is on the exact same motive to want to meet people. They're all like trying to meet people as well, just as much as you are. So the more people you meet, the more people you can suss out if they're like your kind of person, you can surround yourself with the right people. Because for example, you don't just want to, it's not always a bad thing, but you don't just want to either meet your like housemates and just have your housemates because there might be people like around the like floor or just like somewhere else that you are like a better fit with or that will be more of like a long term friendship with you. It is uncomfortable to just go and like knock on someone's door, but nine times out of ten or maybe eight times out of ten. <laughs> They'll actually, they might be startled by it, but they'll actually in the long term appreciate that because they might have never done that. Rather than waiting for people to come to you, if you go to people, you're definitely gonna, I think anyways, make more friends. People will run around and chat about this like Jaeger wristband thing. I personally didn't get it. It gives you entry into most of the seafront clubs and also the peer party on the end one of the nights of like freshers. I personally didn't do that. The kind of clubs that, there's very two separate split kind of clubs in Brighton. So you have your like more, more like if, if you guys are like prison coalition, like you're more like walkabout arch, like you're more like, uh, I don't wanna say in like a negative way. They are fun clubs. It's more like your fun, your shitty nights out kind of clubs, mainstream music, probably the same kind of clubs, the clubs from your hometown kind of clubs. And then there's another side of Brighton, in my opinion, which is like patterns. And it's more of your like disco. You also have like Concord and Vox and Arch, which is also like more like drum and bass, garage. Don't really have a techno scene in Brighton. I'm trying to think if there's even a house scene, maybe. Not that I've discovered it, I don't know. Clubs that I end up going to, patterns and stuff, wasn't on the like Jaeger wristband. So basically the clubs that are on the Jaeger wristbands aren't all the clubs that are hosting Freshers stuff. So you might end up buying the Jaeger wristband and then ending up going to other places and just not using it. Is basically what I'm trying to say. I'd say don't buy anything until you get to uni so that you can suss out where the people, like the people in your flat and stuff 
what kind of night out you're all going to go on together and then just go with them and then you can just buy tickets on the like door and stuff boundary on the other hand is a festival on the last weekend of sessions i would advise personally to buy your tickets before you come to uni just because it's a pretty gallant especially if if you are like a festival person if you are like a festival person then you need to buy a boundary ticket you will find people who will go to boundary and if the people that you're around aren't like haven't got boundary tickets then they're not really festival people you should just go anyways and then hopefully you'll meet more like-minded festival people on that day so just buy a boundary ticket um the sooner the better because i think they're about 50 pounds yeah <laughs> but it's worth it it literally is the end of fashion it's like the thing that really starts off uni if you are a festival person if you're not a festival person and also if you're not going out your person going and drinky person absolutely calm you'll probably make most of your friends during yes you're like halls and you're flat and stuff but probably also during your lectures nine times out of ten this is gonna sound this is gonna cuss out all us like drinking people but if you're not a big drinker then mm, you probably have more going for you in terms of, like hobbies and like interests i don't know if this is really rude of me but i'm cussing myself out as well because i'm a drinky person with not many hobbies so you'll probably find more people in common in like societies i just met people out drinking and then that was that i didn't really invest that much into course friends i mm, that's a lie i did that at the beginning and then i changed course and then i just okay anyways um oh another big rule big rule is still the door the door stop rule is honestly my my top tier rule second top tier rule do i swear do not sleep with anyone in your flat there's there's rules guys there there's rules to this i don't care do not sleep with anyone in your flat in your friendship group unless you genuinely and this is a hard one are uh, completely completely unattached don't care if they'll then shag the whole friendship group as well i would advise to not sleep with anyone anyone in your friendship group there's a big risk that you could catch feelings and you could end up dating someone in your friendship group and then you could end up breaking up with them in your friendship group during uni and then the whole friendship group goes to share and then everything just shit happens do not sleep with someone in your friendship group the risks outweigh the pros sleep with someone who's just like out of the way you can sleep with them have fun with them nothing can come from it or something can come from it and it won't affect your friendship group do not sleep with someone in your flat same reasons do not sleep with someone who you're going to end up living with later which could be hard to figure out if you end up living with that person later because that's a later thing but just avoid just avoid all of that at all costs also use a condom i don't care i know that you guys will literally well maybe i'm just like stereotyping that most people don't use condoms but most people don't use condoms and there is shit flying around and you don't want to catch it but if you do catch it then next advice you need to before you come to uni sign up with the sexual health gp thing it's on campus it is walking from it's, it's a morning thing i think walking appointments finish at 11 a.m maybe maybe midday um because then after that is appointments you can walk in sexual health check all that stuff you need to register though because if not you probably won't get around to it when you're at uni and it's just good to just have it done because then you know that you can just turn up walk in and get sorted when you fuck up by not using a condom okay moving on next bit of advice full length mirror the mirror that comes in halls they're usually just like stuck on the back of the like wardrobe door and they're really shit and tiny so just bring your own full length mirror but i don't know maybe that's just extra oh okay if you have the like choice of this because you moved in early or whatever choose the um top shelf of the um fridge because <laughs> pe like people shit just spills like um, living on campus wasn't obviously clean and people's people would like put their juice lying down and stuff and then it would leak it spill out everywhere if you want a job then freshers week you need to go around with i think with a cv or something i don't know you need to go around and find a job on campus 
in Freshers' Week. If you don't do that during Freshers' Week, all the jobs on campus will be gone. You, ha you have choices between like the, the co-op. I would say that if you work in co-op, it's a bare bait spot. Like everyone will literally, it's a really bait job, um, but it's, it's good still. Like you'll just realize that everyone will know of you from co-op. You can also work in like the food, the coffee shops. There's like other jobs around campus. Found the bar, another bait spot in the uh, uni student bar, but it'll, it'll be fun. So, but if you end up not get, getting a job, in freshers week and you want a job then there's an amex football stadium literally five to ten minute walk depending on where your accommodation is on camp like just outside of campus and it is literally like i think it's like zero hour contract kind of job they employ everyone kind of job at the like brighton stadium you work on the football games you'll be able to find a job through there otherwise it's the same same just going and trying to find a job in brighton but I would recommend because it is long traveling in and out of Brighton from campus. This is if you live on campus as well, by the way. Traveling in and out of Brighton when just a lot is going on when you're in like first year on campus. Do you know what I mean? Like just a lot is going on on campus. You are in your own little bubble on campus. It might be a bit long to travel in and out of Brighton, but if you need a job, you need a job. I just personally didn't have a job in first year, but then I did max out my overdraft. So maybe. It's not the right option. Um, speaking of overdrafts, Santander, if you sign up with their student account, you'll also get the three year rail card for free. Catch is, which I didn't realize and I fucked it. So I signed up for my Santander. By the time I then went up to like activate or like get my three year rail card, it, it was like, oh, like time's up. You was meant to do this within the first month or so of signing up for your Santander account. So do you not, do the same thing I did and just organise things last minute because then you'll just have a Santander account and no bail card, hence myself. Yeah. If you want a bigger overdraft though, then nationwide student accounts do a bigger overdraft. I think it's, you'll get about £500 more than the Santander one in your third year, something like that. If it's the same from how I remember it to be. I don't have data Wi-Fi at the minute, by the way, guys, so I can't even like double check my facts, but I'm pretty certain. <laughs> that this is correct this is all coming from personal experience right now nothing more also you should get an nus card from the co-op co-op is the only on-campus store you will just end up going there and buying a lot of things it's apparently one of the most expensive co-ops in the country yeah straight on sussex campus most expensive you set it up before you come to campus as well because there'll just be another one of those things if you're like me that just ends up not getting done and you end up spending so much more money than you need to. That's like nitty bitty things. If I do Freshers Week again, I would do the exact same and I would go out every single night. I literally went out Sunday through to Sunday and I wouldn't change it because when you go out, it's, it's a big push to get yourself out, I get it. Like it is a push to get yourself out, to do the whole like initial introductions. But once you're out there, you're out please. Please takes you to the motive. The motive takes you to another motive, takes you to an afters. People talk about motives at the next motive at the motive. So then you get included to the next motive. And if you get people's contacts, you can then like ask people what's going on tonight. They are then doing you along. Like everyone is so welcoming because everybody else wants to be surrounded by people that make friends. So they'll all bring you along with them. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone latches off onto everyone. If you put yourself out there, then you'll get carried by other people because they'll all want to be your friends as well. Yeah, does that make sense? Freshers week. It's a good week. It's a solid 10 out of 10 week. On that note, don't shag your housemates. <laughs> Come to one. That's my, that's my last thing. Okay. Nice. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>